What is going on? Movie meals. Movie meal. No Kyle. It's just me. Challenge accepted by myself. Uh, Kyle is on vacation, so he was not able to film or react. I know this came late. We normally get up, we do it at the crack of dawn, but I moved to where it doesn't come out at the crack of dawn, these Oscar nominations. So um, I'm here to to film and react. I got to pull it up here real quick. I don't even have it up. Gosh, I'm not even good without him. Um, but thank you, Moomil patrons, uh, Kimberly, Karen. Go do all that great stuff. Um, so the Oscar nominations. Normally, Kyle and I react. Uh, we will go over everything as soon as we film the podcast this week. That's when we'll go over all the nominations more in depth. I, him and I have talked about it a little bit um, over texting. I think he just got back home. So we're... I can find the nominations. Guys, I'm tired. It's late at night. Here we go. Okay. We're going to start at the bottom. I'm going to rattle through these quick. I have already looked at them, but we're going to make this real quick. Guys, help us get to 2,000 subs. If we do that, we're going to give out a free hoodie to a fan. I clean my apartment. Hoodie no longer to be found. I got to go find it, but uh, it is an excellent hoodie. Please do that. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We're going to give out to a fan who does all those great things. So let's get into it. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to quickly rattle off everything and just give you my quick thoughts. I've got two movies I really want to see left, which is um, Anatomy of a Fall um, and Society of, of the Snow. Um, I believe, oh, Zone of Interest. I will be seeing two of those this weekend. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and watch them. I've been busy this week, but uh, let's get into it. So Makeup and Hairstyling, we got Golda, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Society of the Snow. All those sound great. I haven't heard of Golda. I'll check that out, but this is probably going to pour things if you ask me. Um, and we'll, Kyle and I will get more into depth, but I just want to do a quick reaction here. So production design, Barbie, Killers of the Flower, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. Oof. This could go in any direction. My gut right now says Barbie. I'm not really thinking anything that's that's a snub here for sound. The creator, Maestro, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Park 1, Oppenheimer, and Zone of Interest. Oppenheimer for sure. I think you got... It's tough not having Godzilla minus one in there. I think that's a movie that should have probably gotten a nod um, here. I don't know what I would have pulled it out for. Maybe the creator. Um, the creator did have a solid sound design, but it, it really only deserved the VFX. Um, let's keep going here. Film editing, Anatomy of the Fall, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, Oppenheimer and Poor Things. I think it's tough not having Iron Claw in there. Getting zero nominations is an absolute criminal case here. Um, Barbie not in here is interesting to me. I think all these are deserving. Again, Anatomy of the Fall I will see this weekend. But uh, this one, I'm probably going to end up going to Oppenheimer or Poor Things would be my guess. I haven't seen any of the documentary short films. I usually try to catch them when they come to theaters. They usually play a bunch of the doc uh, documentaries and live action um, and animated shorts, so I try to check those out if I can. So I'm going to skip all those for now uh, and jump right up to costume design. we got Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I was having a conversation about this today, and I think this is a clear cut front runner, Poor Things. I don't know if anything really missed. I think Killers of the Flower Moon is second there, then probably Barbie. But I think Poor Things, When as soon as you think of Poor Things, I think of Emma in the dress. So it yeah, costume it's right there uh cinematography this was an interesting one l con l i'm gonna butcher this l con cond i would just say i don't know condi um i have not heard of this it skyrocketed to my list i've got to check this out i got to figure out what's so beautiful about it because cinematography is one of the things i, I want in a movie is just incredible cinematography killers of the flower moon maestro oppenheimer and poor things i again I don't know how you have Barbie not in there. I think that's a snub for Barbie. I think Barbie should have done way better. Iron Claw was really beautiful with its cinematography and the way it looked. Um, there's a lot of good movies here, man, that could have could have gone in cinematography. But yeah, I, it'll probably end up going to, I think, Oppenheimer or Poor Things. But Killers of the Flower Moon could sneak in there. Um Documentary feature film. I haven't seen any of these. Every year I sit down and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really try to hit those throughout the year, and I haven't seen any of them. So all five of these I'm going to try to rush to see before the awards in two months. Um, original song, uh, It Never Went Away from American Symphony. Another movie I hadn't heard of. I, what, what am I doing? I, th I thought it was a movie guy. This is ridiculous. I, I get, jumps to the top of the list. Every year I try to binge a bunch of these movies. This is one of the best years, I think, though, where I've seen just about everything. Uh, I'm just Ken from Barbie. I was hoping this would get a nomination because I really want to see Ryan Gosling perform it. I think that would be great. Um, what was I made for? This is your winner, I think. Uh, 
they want Billie Eilish up there anyway, accepting more awards. And um, it's a beautiful song. The Fire Inside from Flamin' Hot, another movie I hadn't even heard of that I'm going to rush to go check out. I want to hear this song. I want to see why it's so popular. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't want to butcher this one. Um, but the song from uh, For My People from Killers of the Flower Moon, which I do remember this song. It was beautiful. It was breathtaking. I would be okay if this won. Um, I do th- – I don't know. I don't think there's a song I – there might be something Kyle might be able to pull out of his out of his hat here that I'm just not pulling right now that I I think was snubbed. I think this is a pretty solid good category. Um, the casuals will say um, "Dance the Night Away" from Barbie, sure, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just so happy. I, I'm just can't get in there. Um, original score: American Fiction, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Kills of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, Poor Things. I would have loved to see Godzilla minus one in here. I think that is a snub. The Godzilla score is phenomenal. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, I think, will win this Oscar. I think that John Williams is 91 years old, and they want to give him a chance to go out on top if this is his last nomination. Obviously, we wish him another long decades of years um, because he will be lost if that ever happens. Hopefully never one day that that will crush the world of film and, and really everybody. But uh, I appreciate it. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny has a lot of that old indie theme. It's got a lot of new good stuff in there. So I'm okay with that. I loved the score for Oppenheimer. I think that's really good as well. The score for Kills of the Flower Moon, I also think was really good, especially with the way they used the native songs. Um, Poor Thing's score, I don't, didn't stick with me as much. And I just saw American Fiction and I have the same kind of feeling there. They were good scores, but I don't necessarily remember them for their scores. Um, I'm going to keep moving here. Visual effects, the creator, Godzilla minus one, Guardians of the Galaxy, volume three, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one, and Napoleon. I thought the creator would get here. I'm so happy Godzilla minus one is here. I have a feeling Guardians of the Galaxy, volume three, will win this category. It was stunning. It was beautiful. It kind of feels forgotten because superhero movies kind of stink now, but it is a brilliant movie. So I, I, I think all these are warranted. I know people were screaming Oppenheimer, but if you remember last summer, the the narrative was great for Oppenheimer. It had no visual effects. Christopher Nolan's bragging about recreating the atomic bomb f- practically. And then as soon as visual effects shortlist came out, everybody was like, how dare you? What, what, what are we talking about here? Did you not? You can't have your cake and eat it too here at this point. But anyway, see, the show goes too fast. I stutter too much without Kyle. He is the cement that keeps me glued. All right, let's get into screenplay here. Um, Anatomy of the Fall, original screenplay, Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May, December, and Past Lives. I really ended up liking May, December, but it took me a little bit of marination on it. I'm a little surprised it did not get as much love as it has, but I'm not heartbroken over it. I think there are snubs. We'll get to some of them later that I think should have at least gotten a nod. I, I don't know about a win, but um, this is an interesting interesting spot barbie should have been in here they didn't put barbie in here because there have been other barbie movies that's true but i think it should have been in here it's very original with what it does Uh, past live should win this to me i i think any of them would be a a good pick i would probably put may december last i can't count anatomy of fall i haven't seen it yet i'll come back to you hopefully i'll have watched them by the time kyle and i film our podcast but i past lives is the best movie of the year last year to me um, adapted screenplay, American fiction, Barbie, Oppenheimer, poor things, zone of interest. I will also be seeing that this weekend. And I, I think Barbie deserves this win, especially after the egregious, egregious move of not putting her in best director. So I think she will win this, but Oppenheimer and poor thing. This is a tough category. American fiction deserves the nod. I don't think it'll get the win, but it is a really great script. Um, animated feature film, The Boy in the Hair and Elemental Nimona, Ro- Robot Dreams, and Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Across Spider- Spider-Verse probably should have popped in in cinematography. That's the one I'm forgetting. And people think, oh, it's an animated movie. You can't have cinematography. Boy in the Hair and probably should have had cinematography over uh, other movies. They're both breathtaking. I wish Suzume would have been in here. Suzume is excellent. Um, TMNT, wh- what are you doing? That was a, a top animated feature this year i mean just the style of animation they went with was incredible 
I would, l- I, I got a lot of people who are going to say Spider-Man. I got a lot of people who say Boy in the Heron. I'm starting to lean towards Boy in the Heron. I have sat more and more on it, regretted not putting it in my top 10 of the year and having it as an honorable mention. But I think I w- right now, if you ask me, I switch that out. I love Nimona getting some love though. That's a great film. International feature, Society of the Snow and Zone of Interest are going to duke it out. I need to see Zone of Interest. I've heard a lot of great things about both of them. So I'm excited to see those and get to that. So now we're at Best Director. We're at the top dogs here. So we got Jonathan Glazer for The Zone of Interest, Yorgos uh, Lanthimos for Poor Things, Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer, Martin Scorsese for Kills of the Flower Moon, and Justine Triet, I'm going to go with, for Anatomy of a Fall. I have not seen these two. Kyle has. Kyle, No, Kyle has not seen Zone of Interest, but he has seen Anatomy of a Fall. He told me it's going to just get tougher. I'm sitting here still going, how do you not put Greta Gerwig in this category. It's the best movie, one of the best movies of the year. I meant to say the best uh, box office of the year. And obviously box office does not always equate, but still there's some, some ground there for a movie nobody thought would do anything. She created an incredible movie. She has multiple, the movie has multiple nominations throughout. It's got a best picture nod. Your two supporting actors are getting nods, but your lead and your director aren't? That's wild. That, to me, is insane. Um, so, and the director, who his name has escaped me late at night as I'm filming this for past lives, absolutely deserves to be here. Maybe I'm going to change my mind with some recency bias this weekend when I finally sit down to watch these movies. But, man, I just don't know how you don't have those in there this is that's an insane category i can't wait to dissect it with kyle who will probably just argue with me no salt burn anywhere salt burn there's my thing i couldn't pull out of my hat which kyle probably is happy i didn't salt burn was phenomenal and it should have been here a lot again it's a competitive year i knew this was i've been saying it for a while this is one of the best years of movies in history best supporting actress emily blunt for oppenheimer danielle brooks for the color purple america ferrera for barbie jodie foster for naiad uh, Divine Joy Randall for the holdovers. I the moment I left the holdovers, I said that's my that's my best supporting actress is Divine. I, I'm sticking to my guns here so far because I love all these other people in all these other movies. I love Daniel Brooks. I have not seen The Color Purple. It's on my list. I just have not gotten a chance to see it. It's been busy in the new year, but I I loved Nyad. I don't know how Jodie Foster snuck in here. She's great in the movie, but. Could have put a couple other people in this category, man. Um, but I think Divine runs away with this one. Best Supporting Actor, Sterling K. Brown for American Fiction. I did the exact same thing with Divine as I did with Sterling. I left the theater and went, that needs to be a a a, a nomination. For, Di- for Divine, I went win. I think she's the front runner in this category. I don't know if she's been winning it in the other awards. I haven't checked. I don't think Sterling K. Brown is, but he is exactly what you mean when you say a supporting actor. Um, there's Robert Downey Jr., Killers of the Flower, or Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer, Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon, Ryan Gosling for Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. This is competitive. I do think it's going to go to RDJ. I would have loved to have seen, um, what's this, what, what, Willem Dafoe? I'm so tired today. Willem Dafoe in this category as well for Poor Things, but this is a stacked battle, and I'm glad Sterling K. Brown got in there. Best Actress, Annette Benning for Nyad, Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. Shout out Lily Gladstone, Kalispell, Flathead. I, I'm from there. I, she represents my home state, and I love it. Um, Sandra Huller for Anatomy of a Fall. K- Carrie Mulligan for Maestro, Emma Stone for Poor Things. This is the most competitive category. It's wild that Annette Benning is here to me, and I loved Nyad, and she is phenomenal in it. And if it wasn't such a stacked year, I'd put her in any other year. But I don't know how you don't put Margot Robbie here. I just don't get it. I, Margot Robbie should have been in here. She didn't. She's not the winner to me. I still lean. I think this is a, bl- a bloodbath between Emma Stone and Lily Gladstone, but it's probably going to go to Emma Stone. She'll probably be my pick. But even Carrie Mulligan is freaking fantastic in Maestro. So, and I haven't seen Anatomy of a Fall. That could change my mind, but this is a competitive, even with Annette Benning in there, she's again phenomenal. This is a competitive category. Best actor, Bradley Cooper for Maestro, uh, Coleman Domingo for Rustin, Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers, uh, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, and Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction. I love all of this. Uh, I love seeing uh, two men of color in here who who rightfully deserve it. I just watched Rustin not that long ago, a couple we- about a week ago, and I loved it. I, I, w- 
I'm really happy he got the nom. I do think a Zach Efron deserved to be here. And I, 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 I don't want to take anything away from Coleman. He is phenomenal. He deserves to be here. I wish I could put six. It's tough. No Leo DiCaprio. You're beating out Leo. You're beating Efron puts in the performance of a lifetime and it's still not good enough. That's how good this year is. Everybody's saying Bradley Cooper went for Oscar Beatty. I don't, they all do. <laughs> Every, I don't know anybody who doesn't in their profession. Um, it's probably going to be Killian. Paul Giamatti is putting up a fight, though. I would love to see any of them win. I Again, I'm so glad Jeffrey Wright because I loved American Fiction, and I really did like Rustin a lot. I didn't love it as much as I love all these other movies, but he is the reason I love that movie. You you take him out and you replace him. I don't think you can replace him. You replace him for anybody. That movie I don't think works. It's a story I didn't know. I, I loved it. I'm happy he is here. But he, uh, he probably would be the one I drop. But again, I, I'm so happy he's here. I love the representation. Um, the Oscars finally start to seem a bit more diverse uh, in the way they view movies is, I think, the biggest change right now we're seeing where they're looking at lots of different types, which is starting to slowly lead to more diversity. We're not there yet, but we are getting there. Um, I really noticed it with the Parasite that one year, a couple years back. Uh, but Best Picture, American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Kills of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. I have seen all of them, but The Zone of Interest and Anatomy of a Fall. I'm hyped to see them all. Past Lives was my number one last year for a right reason. It made me feel things I've never felt watching a movie. I loved that movie so much. I loved this category. I am so happy Barbie is here. It's tough for me. I think A Boy in the Heron should have been... I hope it was competing because I would have probably put it wanted it to be here, I would have probably swapped it out. Maybe uh, Spider-Man is across Spider-Verse 2 was just so phenomenal. But anyway, these are my quick thoughts, my quick reactions. I uh, love the Oscar season. We'll talk about it more and more on the podcast as it comes up. I know it was quick. I know we were rattling. I'm moving quick. My thoughts are a million miles an hour. It's You see that skyline back there, the city of Philly. Uh, go birds, even though they let me down. Go flyers. Hey, they're probably losing right now. Um but yeah, guys, what do you think? Comment below, let us know. Uh, check out the podcast because it's coming. It's coming. It'll be here this weekend, probably on Monday, normal time. And make sure to like, subscribe, share. Help us get to that 2,000. Leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching, Mom, and we'll see you next time.